Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel, Bolt Forward. Today I would like to present to you my Pistolet Automatique Model 1935A. A gun I didn't even know existed until I saw one in my local gun store, did about 10 minutes of research, and decided I had to have it. It is not an impulse buy, I don't have a problem, and I don't need help. If you think this gun bears a striking resemblance to the Sig P210, then you would be correct. The Schweitz? Zerish Industry Gesellschaft Company, also known as SIG, bought the design in 1937 to produce the model of 1947-48, also known as the SIG P210. A little over 10,000 of these handguns were made before the Germans politely, but firmly, forced a cessation of manufacturing. However, production was resumed under new management, and German occupation pistols are designated the Pistola 625F. Do be warned, it is not unheard of for people to try and pass off any of these 1935s as German World War II pistols, so I highly encourage that you study up on markings. Talk about a handgun that is both beautiful and ugly at the same time. The smooth curves and sharp straight lines give this gun a very elegant appeal, but then you look at how the finish is essentially industrial railroad paint and you wonder who thought that was a good idea. If I had to list one thing I can't stand about this gun, the one thing that I think detracts from the gun's design, it would be the safety. There is no positive click when the safety is rotated, no lettering or color indicator to indicate if it is ready to fire, the safety is still very difficult and stiff to manipulate, and there's just so much to be desired about its design. I suppose the one benefit is seeing the safety sticking straight up in your vision is a good way to remind you that the safety is still on. I would just prefer to have a much more traditional safety. Time to take apart the trigger. If you blunk, you missed it. A really neat feature about this gun is the self-contained trigger pack. Amazing how a gun that is almost 100 years old was so forward thinking, and it's surprising to think that it has taken close to a century for this concept to come back into the spotlight under current military handguns. Let's take a look at some old ammo. Amazing how they could fit 50 rounds of 7.65 French long into this tiny box. Going to do my best with the camera work here, folks. Hopefully the numbers show up on a bigger screen. These bullets are all steel jacketed, steel cased, corrosive powdered, and dated from 1943 to 1953. This last bit here is just comparing some modern ammunition to the original stuff. You can still get 7.65 French long from Steinel ammo, if Ian from Forgotten Weapons hasn't bought it all yet. Good. Action. First shots. <laughs> That's got some hammer bite on it. Is it hot? Hammer bite. Fun little thing about this gun, you can barely see the sights and it keeps throwing debris and crap in your face. Cut. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's kind of like wow. It's like opening a beer can of a trigger. <laughs> All right. Aim high on that one. Aiming high. Dang it! Too high. We're back to the vintage guns, are we? I mean, duh, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I haven't gotten a single one. Oh, yeah. What did I do right that time? It's hard to shoot. It is. What year is this thing? 1935. 35. Right. I love how these things feel. The it is older pretty. guns are nice, but good grief. Ow. Just this is where you need to keep your hand at when you start shooting. Uh, keep those elbows locked. Good. We are good. filming. Yeah. This ammunition is too expensive to waste. World War II ammo gun. Does not work. Whatever. Good malfunction. The gun likes that. It does like that, doesn't it? It's because you're letting the recoil come back. Gotta remain firm and rigid. I thought I could show off. Good pressure. <laughs> Dang it. All right, stay here. This has been my French model 1935A. Tell me in the comment section below if you would ever own one of these things or if you'd rather just spend the $3,000 on a SIG P210. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.